Rum back out of the gun. Rolls right, goes long downfield. He wants Roberson, touchdown! Now, how is that for your first play? <laughs> so Alex Roberson puts the Dukes on the board as they strike first in this battle of Pittsburgh. But for the Dukes. On the give to Russ, and they saw something they liked as Russ breaks it around the left side to the 30, to the 20, down to the 10, and tiptoes into the end zone for a touchdown. It goes for 51 yards as Miles Russ has electrified this crowd. Now that is an impressive running play. Then goal. Motion by Kozak out of the eye. Sawinski play action pass. Looks right. He's got his man. Touchdown. TJ Green with his second touchdown catch of the season. And Robert Morris has its first lead of the day, 19 to 13, with 10 1 left in the third quarter. The Dukes with a triple threat backfield. Here comes the run blitz. The give is to Cleo Williams. Picks his way through the right side and into the end zone for a touchdown. So to go with the period. Slowinski up to the line. Russ is the lone setback. Split receivers. Russ up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. Cuts left and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Miles Russ goes 18 yards. And Robert Morris is back on top. 28 yards, including a 31-yard touchdown in the first quarter. First and goal. Here's Cleo Williams powering and muscling his way, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown, or no? Let's see. Indeed it is. A delayed call, and the Duque Dukes have struck back. It's a 27-26 ball game. And that is Duquesne's first sack of the day. Loss of nine, second and 19. Slowinski looks left, now looks right. Getting pressured, fires wide open. Regis Flowers breaks one tackle, carries two or three more into the end zone. It is a Colonials touchdown. And with 5-0-1 to play, Robert Morris goes back up on top, 33-27. to What if the game winds down to the offensive line of Robert Morris? Steady Case, Madrum, Konecki, Carlos Andrade, and center Sam Miller. Slowinski takes a knee, and that'll do it. The Colonials do not even have to snap the football, and they're going to go out of here a winner. Here comes the Gatorade bath for Coach Walton. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'd say this game is important, huh? <laughs> Did you see that waterfall of ice? <laughs> that was very well planned. They're like stealths in the back there, very quiet. <laughs> so Robert Morris not only wins this game 34-27, to they snap a three-game series losing streak against their arch-rivals Duquesne from 17 miles away. What a big win for the Robert Morris football program. So the Battle of the Steel City belongs to the Robert Morris Colonials. 34 to 27. 4 to 27. Our player of the game is Russ, Miles Russ. Repeat that name three times. Miles Russ, because he was great. An RMU record, 37 carries for 246 yards and two touchdowns. The 246 yards is third all-time in Robert Morris history, sixth all-time in NEC history. And he just made a fantastic game, contributed. There was 29 first downs by Robert Morris, a team record. He ran for power, he ran for speed. He was electrifying out there today, finishing the game with a great game. Beautiful performance by Miles Russ. Our Akadina, player of the game, Miles Russ. Well, when you put up those kinds of numbers, you get to talk to the announcers after the game. And I don't know if Mr. Miles Rush is winded, but we're going to kind of intrude upon him anyway. Miles, are you down there? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. My friend, you're going to need to sleep tonight. Why don't you tell me about this effort today? Uh, man, I just think my offensive line, they did a wonderful job. Uh, and my fullback, uh, Jeff Link, he did an awesome job just blocking, man. I just need a little room. And I was kind of nervous. Uh, the first couple of plays, I was kind of nervous. But when I got that long run uh, due to my uh, tackle that did a little draw, and I was wide open. So I just think my offensive line, the fullback, that uh, we just uh, worked out and won this game. 
Miles, you snap a four-game losing streak, and quite honestly, in the second half of some of these games, you've been right there and then fell apart at the end. What was the difference today that allowed you guys to finish the job? Uh, I think we just did the same thing. Uh, all the games that we lost were uh, really close. Uh, we just needed to finish, and that's what we've been saying all week, just trying to finish offensive line, defense, and it, that's what we did, uh, just hey. finish, try to hold the ball, get a lot of first downs, as many first downs as we, as we can get, and that's what we did. The defense also did a wonderful job. Uh, we, they got the stops when they needed and uh, we just came out with a win. Miles, talk to the viewing audience that watches you at 170 pounds. You're able to run for speed and for power. Talk about the commitment it takes in order to establish your body to get that done. Uh, I'm from Florida, and that's uh, when I went for the summer. I worked real hard. Uh, I've been there reading a little bit of, of, you know, the newspapers and the blogs, and they said I was too small. Uh, they needed, needed somebody else. So uh, I just want to thank my offensive line, but I want to thank uh, all the people that doubted me. And I'm just going to try to keep on moving on. Miles, i got to ask you about the guts that you must have when you run into a big defensive tackle like Ronnie Garvin, nearly 300 pounds, and a couple of times he gobbled you up right at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> I'm used to that. I've been small all my life, so I'm used to that. Uh, but uh, up, up in college, they're a little bigger. But uh, uh, they, didn't, they didn't get to the line that many times. My offensive line uh, didn't let that happen. So he got me a few times, but at the end of the day, uh, we won the battle. Now talk about the rival, big rivalry, local teams. You know, what does this win mean to, to Robert Morris? Oh, uh, this is really for the seniors. Uh, the seniors never really, uh, never beat them. And uh, I'm a sophomore, so I, I lost to them my first time. And um, one of my commitments is never losing to, uh, to them again. So that's what we, we try to say uh, during practice. And uh, we pulled it out. First thing, I, well, first thing you said was about the O-line. Let me ask you once again as we cap this off about the O-line. Joe Setti, case number 76, on our screen right now, a 50-year senior. I'll tell you something, Miles. You owe him a steak dinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to take him out. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, they can eat, so i got to get my money straight out before I take them out. So, uh, <laughs> the life of a college student. Yeah, the life of the college students, definitely. So, uh, but I'm, I'm definitely going to congratulate them because uh, I'm a player of the game, but uh, that they, they need the recognition as many as they can get. Miles Ross, best of luck the rest of the way. Congratulations on a sensational performance. All right, thank you so much. Once again, 37 carries, 246 yards, and two touchdowns. I think the folks in Bristol may be checking him out pretty soon. We'll be back to wrap this thing up after this on FSN Pittsburgh.